Why did you refuse to be the Ascals head coach countless times? <laughs> I've been there, done that. Too much politics, like I said. Uh, like I posted one time a few days ago, coaching is a thankless job. With what's happening with Michael Weiss, uh, we've talked about it already before, uh, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and I said, it happens. And I said, you should know that because you've worked also somewhere in other countries as well. Uh, there's no such thing as a permanent job in coaching, in any sport. All right, folks, fourth episode of the second season of Hands On. We're excited to be here. Uh, Coach Hanson, myself, uh, we've just been getting a lot of uh, information, actually, to, as to who has been listening to our shows. So we want to uh, say a quick shout out to everybody from the United States. There's a lot of you guys who are tuned into this program, uh, as well as people from UAE, Singapore, 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 UAE. Uh, I believe uh, China, China is in there as well. So damn, man, worldwide, Coach. Not bad. Next Not time bad. we have to eat noodles here already, so <laughs> we can get more people. Uh, we appreciate the support. We're glad that you guys are uh, not only tuning into the show, but keeping abreast on Philippine football, because this is what we do it for. You know what I mean? So exactly. it's, it's important that you guys are, are, are keeping uh, updated and aware uh, uh, on how things are going over here. And yeah, thank you for the support. We, are, we really do appreciate it. Uh, most of the um, uh, viewers have, have apparently been male. Male. Yeah, male. 81%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the 19% of women out there. Well done. Thanks for supporting the show. And 15% of the 81 are. Never mind. Yeah, but ingit lang ata sa buhok mo eh. Yeah, so, so cool stuff. You know, we really do appreciate you know, the support you guys throw our way. And if it wasn't for you guys, then we wouldn't be given the opportunity to do this, you know, and uh, talk to awesome people like the man to my left. Over here, Mr. Sidel Tupas, my main man. I, it's, it's good for you uh, to finally be on the show. Of course, Sidel Tupas, if you guys don't know, a uh, writer for Philippine Daily Inquirer. He, he commentates as well on uh, Sports 5, uh, which airs on uh, Action TV. Um, one, of the more, one of the favorites uh, of the viewers uh, as one of the analysts. And uh, yeah, he's been one of the guys who's been part of the Philippine football scene before everything exploded in 2010. So he's covering. And we're gonna reverse. What, what do you mean you're gonna reverse? We're gonna reverse everything now. So Delph is from the press. Yeah. So now we're gonna press him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So two of us is used to uh, asking the questions. Yeah. Today is gonna be. Oh yes. No question answered. from you, boy. <laughs> you're gonna be the only answer. He's gonna be just answering today. All right. So, but before we get started, as usual, we get to uh, the rundown first, the latest news. Uh, in Philippine football, but before we do that, there's a precursor to the precursor. Um, we just want to say thank you to a, a couple of people, and uh, so let's get to some uh, 12th man um, responses or uh, messages. We appreciate you guys always getting in touch with us on social media. That's both on Facebook and on Twitter. Saying what's up to Oliver Ryan Kaliwag. Um, he was on Twitter, uh, posted something very nice. Uh, for us, he said, uh, thanks for promoting and discussing topics about football. It inspires me. I always watch your episodes on YouTube. Oliver, you're the man. Thank you. I uh, appreciate you uh, supporting the show. And uh, Nathaniel, uh, Bele you say this. Beloton, Belotindos. Belotindos. Yes. I got that. Nathaniel I'm Belotindos. Cebu. Yeah. Um, so we just came back from Cebu. Right. So it's kind of a nice thing to read this. Um, I am from Cebu and everyone is talking about your show, even our smoke break from BPO Industry. It's your show that we talk uh, about and happy to hear it uh, since before. Even our guards talk about PBA, now it's UFL, not ULF, and, and hands on. So, yeah, and so we were casual conversations. We're breaking the, 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 the stereotype. Yeah, and uh, Coach Hans, particularly happy that you're talking about us on your smoke break. Because, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but don't say that I'm going influencing you. Huh? <laughs> That's what we do. Okay, so awesome stuff. And also, one big thank you has to go out as well to April Datuin and the rest of Football Balita. You guys, uh, look at that. Look how pretty we look. We're, uh, we're featured on the Football Balita uh, newspaper, which gets uh, circulated uh, all around uh, football venues. One direction. Yeah. In no, no, one direction. We're all looking in one direction <laughs> the camera before anybody thinks. Yeah, uh, uh, football matches around the Philippines, the UFL matches uh, in the UAP, NCAA back yeah. uh, when it was still ongoing. So, Thanks, uh, April. 
all the latest actually in Philippine football you can get on Football Balita. It's love to us knows all about this. Man is yeah. uh, integral to the making of this <laughs> newspaper. <laughs> so it, it's great stuff. I mean, all the updates are here from the youth, UFL youth, um, under 14 Philippine national team that Thomas Roy What's has embarked on. And of course... Leaving. He already. I, 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 I think he already left. I think he. They but left already. That, I, I, from what I understand, it's going to start in April. Uh, so that's cool um, that he's here because we featured him on the podcast yes. as well. Um, I mean, timing, natin yeah, talaga. Yeah, no? Of course, you, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta stay on the top of things, you know. <laughs> so uh, it's pretty good, you know. So um, uh, thank you so much for Bol Balita, and if you're a football fan. You definitely should be reading Football Balita. Check them out on Facebook and on Twitter. That's not F O O T for foot, it's F U T B O L. So, football and then Balita is spelled Balita. And look for them on Facebook and on Twitter. You can get the, uh, the digital copy yeah. of the newspaper as well. All right? So, thanks, guys. Thanks, Appreciate people. the support. Awesome stuff. No. Um, to the rundown, we go. Mm-hmm. All right? Um, first and foremost, uh, tomorrow, I'm very uh, excited for this. Uh, the Street Child World Cup team is going to be flying off to uh, Rio de Janeiro tomorrow. Uh, Roy Moore, Enzo Pinga, and the rest of the 2014 team, they're heading out. Uh, they're going to have a, a, a quite a long layover in Dubai before they head on over to Rio de Janeiro. I got a chance to uh, visit the camp a while ago for the last training session, and the boys and the girls are looking fit. They're looking uh, very excited to, to go over there and participate in what an experience. What, More that's importantly, be. I'm happy for Roy that he was able to get the team off. Yeah. You know, meaning really, literally off Philippine soil. Yeah. Because they were having financial problems. I, I don't know how he got it, but he's done it. And uh, good job, Roy. Yes. Good luck when you get there and tell the boys and girls. Uh, not only, them. of course, not only is it about winning the matches over there, which we expect that they'll do well as well, but uh, you know, just uh, just the experience of mingling with how many countries oh, yeah. over there. Um, I understand. Just in 2010, I was able to talk to one of the players. He said, um, you know, they they lived with the Ukraine team, and were able to really get close to them. And, and the 2010 team won the Shield competition, and they won yeah. most disciplined. Mm. So, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's big shoes to fill, but we have uh, high hopes for Imagine the Imagine these guys were just in the streets. I know, no, you know. Nothing, now they're going to Brazil. So, the, yeah, the requirements is that either you uh, either work, have worked on the streets or lived on the streets. And so some of these guys, you know, they've been, you know, pick, picking trash and yeah, selling it. Yeah. And, um, the, but the good thing about this, uh, the, the team of the Philippines is uh, Roy has been able to scout all over the Philippines, right? So yeah. there's people from Davao, uh, from Mindanao, people from Visayas. Obviously, with Typhoon Yolanda, wasn't able to scout that area yes. too well. But um, kids from all over the Philippines getting together, forming a team, and then they're going to go off, and then now they're going to meet all kinds of different personalities yeah. and be exposed to different things. That's off to Roy for, you know, doing all of this. Man, I, I, and Roy and his, his staff. Yeah. Isn't? Absolutely, right? Great stuff. And uh, some of the kids from 2010, I don't know if you know a guy named uh, Noriel. Um, he's... There's some of these guys, you know, they came from the two, 2010 World Cup, uh, Street Child World Cup, and then now they play college ball. Mm. Um, they're working, they got jobs, and uh, they've got plenty of potential. So, you know, it opens up a whole different oh, world yes. for them. So it begins on March 30. That's when the first match will be played. Um, um, we're hoping to make it all the way to the final day on April 6th. They'll be flying back on the 7th. Um, if they make it to the 6th, they'll be playing at the Maracana Ooh. Stadium. Ooh. That's 80,000 capacity. What an experience that would be, right? I knew it, Dana. 80,000? It's awesome, man. They get a chance to represent the Philippines, so it's incredible. Uh, so the Philippines has been drawn in Group 2 alongside um, tough competition, as we've, we've heard. Uh, I believe Tanzania is in, in that group as well. And now the purpose of the Street Child World Cup is to raise awareness on the plight of street children uh, around the world and to give them a platform to speak for themselves. Um, uh, I believe like their campaign is like um, I am somebody. Is that is that the campaign slogan that yeah, they're going so. with? Yes. Um, it's I, I I just I feel very strongly about um, this uh, particular advocacy simply because when you're born into this world, you don't really have a choice where you, you, yep. you where you get brought into, right? We're fortunate that we got brought in, brought into a family that could provide, and uh, sometimes people are not as 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 lucky, not as fortunate, and uh, it's not your choice, but. 
You have to deal with the circumstances that you're dealt with. And uh, some of these guys, when you meet them, you know, the self-confidence is there, the assuredness, and it's, you want them to succeed. You know what I mean? And uh, we wish you guys... Look at their faces, huh? They even have left, they even never even have left the country yet, and look at them. It's awesome. So man. happy. I know, it's great stuff. And uh, yeah, we wish you guys all the best. If you want to support Team Philippines uh, monetarily, you guys can donate uh, through their website. It's www.justgiving.com slash fairplay dash for dash all dash foundation. So fair play for all foundation. Separate the words with dashes, okay? Justgiving.com slash fair play for all foundation. So there you go, all right? Make sure to check that out. Uh, we're going to be talking about Clear, our trip, a little mm -hmm. excursion to Visayas. Uh, we're going to do excursion? that. Excursion? Yeah, we'll do that a little later That's on. That's hard work, man. Yeah, it's always hard work, yeah. Um, coaches were busy on the pitch. Coach Hans was busy on the sidelines chatting up people, <laughs> smoking cigarettes. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, it was good stuff. Um, I had actually was able to uh, document the thing, and you guys can check it out on YouTube. Just search UFL Clear. Cebu and Ilo Ilo Legs. Mm. You guys want to check that out. All right. So um, are we done with the rundown? Ange, shall we uh, go through some other stuff? Um, oh, yeah, very interesting. There was a draw today. You probably know about this. AFC Asian Cup had a draw today at 4 p.m. Um, so if we win the Challenge Cup, which happens if in May, we if we win, if which is a big win. if, um, we'll which win. we're all hoping to win. Yeah, of course. Positivity we'll in shapes your world. Um, we will join Group D. And Group D is a, a very nice group to be in. <laughs> um, Japan, Jordan, and Iraq are part of that group. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> should be fun. Japan, just a powerhouse in uh, uh, Asian football. Um, Iraq... Former winners. Japan, right? No, Iraq. Oh, Iraq, former yeah. winners. I think, I think they're defending. Are they this No, way? Japan no, no, is no. defending. Oh, they're defending. Don't mind me. So, we just have two uh, yeah. champions in our group? No problem. CCU. CCU. And Jordan, right? So uh, that should be fun. Jordan. <laughs> Jordan is one win away from World Cup. In the World Cup, yes. Just lost to Uruguay. Yeah, so uh, if we qualify, baptism of fire in the Asian Cup, right? So we wanted, that's what we want. There's really no choice. Yeah, I mean, we, that's what we want, right? To play with the best in Asia. Like I say, you join a tournament, you, don't, you can't choose your opponents. Yeah. And, and so then, play on. And I'm sure it's going to be a great experience uh, if we make it to the Asian Cup, which we all hope we do. I have a 90% confidence that my level's up there. 97? 90%. Ah, 90%. You know, 90%. Make it. Yeah. 90%. You're 10%. 10%. Somebody trips. <laughs> Injuries again. Okay. All right. Um, Ivan Jeffrey Gallares um, wants us to talk a little bit about the futsal program. Is there a futsal program getting underway here in the yeah, Philippines? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I understand. Like the most, the uh, Muzan, I think so, some Muzan. of the players of uh, Coach Hans at Green Archers. Are, That's right. Uh, they they went to yeah. Bangkok <laughs> last year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sarnil Lofita is at the PFF of the Philippine Football Federation. He's now in charge of the futsal program. Mm. So it's really going to get off the ground. That's interesting. So the Sarnil really moves around. Right. A lot. Uh, that's why he's limping now. <laughs> <laughs> Peace, Sai. <coughs> but no, I'm, I'm also confident with the football program with, with Sai there, right. with Sai Real there, that it's going to get off the ground because I think they, they, they just had a Visayas or something, Panay, I think in San Carlos, or was it? Visayas, no, it was in Negros. But young uh, boys and girls, uh, nice. this is a tournament. And now they're trying to, I think, and which should be incorporated into the uh, physical end uh, class. Right, I mean, uh, we have so many basketball courts everywhere in the Philippines. I mean, if you can't, infrastructure is holding back the people from playing football because there's no pitches, there's no grass, play futsal, man. I, I, when I started playing futsal, it was a huge deal to my ability to control the ball in tight spaces mm. and the ball rolls a lot quicker, you know? So, you know, be able to control it a little bit better and uh, when you take it out into the field, then things happen just a little bit slower for you on the field now yeah. because you, you have that ability to touch the ball lightly, pass the ball quicker. So yeah, futsal, great way to develop your game. And at least now, we put that in the, you know, all over the country should yeah. be, not just chosen schools. Yeah. We can make better use of the basketball courts now. That's right. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, officiating in the UFL. Are we ever going to stop talking about this? 
Probably not. Uh, we do have a video. No video. Sorry. No video. Let's skip. <laughs> Somebody from the referee, sir. Hacked it. Nathaniel is um Nathaniel. <laughs> I, I, I don't think mapakali hindi siya hindi talaga siya mapakali. Sige, <laughs> sige. Like ah, oh, great to greet you, Reveris. Well, you know, everybody's trying. Not only you, boy. So to be honest, you know, um yeah, the the, the refereeing um you there's no hiding from the fact that it needs to improve, yeah. right? I mean, um so many games in which the refereeing has been the focal point of the discussion after the match which really shouldn't be the case. Um, and there's been a lot of talk about wanting to improve the officiating, but frankly, you know, s solid plans, um, concrete uh, plans that we can put in motion. Have you heard of any? Anyone? I'm still waiting for the UFL to take on my suggestion, which is more than a year ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, that you know, I mean, it doesn't have to be only the EFL clubs that can adopt one former player or whoever wants who knows the sport and wants to stay in the program, meaning stay in football, yeah, and do something for football, you know, and teach them officiating. Yeah, uh, it doesn't have to stay on the, with, with the clubs. It can go also in schools. Okay, have you heard of anything that's no, no? But uh, my really my concern really is that there's just too many games that yes, that's. The mm -hmm. impact of uh, referees, you, know, you, know, you, you always end up, uh, there are games where there are bad calls, of course. but there are games that the bad calls uh, you know, decide the match. Or uh, no calls. Or no calls. So uh, there's just too many. And, oh yeah, uh, in, the FL, in the FL, there's a lot of games, the results came out because of the bad and no calls. Correct. And sometimes I, I just feel like... Uh, is there a mechanism for the UFL to really review the performance of the referees? Not just uh, by watching you know, the referee assessor watching the match, but after the match, you know, get a DVD copy of the match. It's supposed then, to be. Right. And then, you know, you can sit down one day or, or half a day there na, no, pag, no, look at that, look at what happened right. there. It's, it's supposed to be, Sadelf. But, I don't know, I'm the technical director of Green Arches United, Globe and... I haven't seen any yet. Uh, problem is, if there is the proper assessment of every officiating official, mm. there will be no one. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. lot. But didn't we try to bring um, referees from other parts of the Philippines <laughs> did. I don't know. into the UFL? And for some reason, I don't see them. No, I don't know. You know what I think? I think uh, maybe if it's only the PFF that can can say, no, right. uh, can put their foot down. Then I think the PFF will have to talk to the UFL, the UFCA, and tell these referees also. I mean, no one should be held hostage, or you know, for that matter of of keeping the same personality, same individuals to officiate. A lot of people are throwing the blame on the UFL, and maybe there is a part of that responsibility that goes to the league, but. People have to understand as well that the UFL don't employ the referees, right? That's not their call. It's the governing body's call as to who referees and how the, how the rotation happens and all of this. So, um, you know, if you guys are going to continue to throw the hate at UFL and I get to see the Twitter account, I understand your frustrations, but point yeah. your frustrations in the right direction. UFL is over here and the governing body is over there. You know what? Shoot it over there. If anyone, if anyone... I'm inviting anyone who's got a, a, a good idea, a suggestion, bring it out. You know? Yeah. With us, Facebook, yeah. Us, yeah. Post, whatever, because we can always go directly to the UFL or maybe to the PFF, those who are involved with uh, refereeing, yeah. and see where it goes. But the obvious thing now that is really bothering us all over the country is there's a lack of referees. 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 That's true. So sometimes, like the UFL, even in the provinces, it's the same yeah. people all the time. So the same people are always the ones earning. Okay? Now, you tend to be complacent at times when you are always the one. Okay? Even no, no, no amount of heckling, sermon, lecture you yeah. give to these people, to these guys, you know, uh, they'll still come out the same way. Yeah. They need to be challenged. Okay? We're not, but you know, I'm, some people are saying, coach, 
Huwag nyo kami bilahin sa show mo, ha? Ganyan. Hindi ko kayo binibira. Pinapalabas ko talaga yung totoo. This is the fact. You have to, you have to, you have to face the fact that, you know, kayo-kayo lang na lang eh. Eh, yung may iba sa inyo, ilang taon na nag referee doon. Tapos, oh, you oh, know. Going personal. Oh. oh. <laughs> And number one is, number one is, when you're a referee, I've said it before in our previous, uh, previous shows, the referee runs more than any player. Right. Okay? Yeah. They run more than any player. So number one, you gotta be fit. You got to be freaking fit. Okay, uh, some guys, they just prefer to be assistant referees because they just go up and down. Right. But let me tell you guys, you have made a lot of no calls and calls that are really bad. Okay, very bad. We should have beaten Loyola in the, f the first game with a handball of... <laughs> oh my gosh, oh, bring I, it was back. A, I was <laughs> bringing it back. <laughs> no, everybody yeah. saw it. I was there, yeah. Even people on TV, they were texting me already. That was a handball, coach. Right. I was there. I was in line. <laughs> where I was seated, I was in line. Anyway, <laughs> what I'm saying is, I'm not the only one that's going to be bitching about our... Oh, no. Lost all the code, all the... Guys, open your ears, open your eyes, and most of all, open your fucking brains, and realize that all the teams and all the coaches, first and second divisions of the UFL, are... There's, there's so, they always have something negative to say about you guys. Yeah, I mean... Now, even, I'm sure even the UAP... Oh my God, I agree. Oh my God. <laughs> see, eh? Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, you, you guys need to... Hey, I'm, I'm, my resume is complete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been suspended as a head coach, been suspended as a head coach. Now I've been suspended as a technical director. <laughs> well I'm complete. What else can I be? A utility boy. Kit man. Well I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Now, Regan, it, it's, it's, it's a difficult situation. For everybody involved in it's football, universal. because um, like we said, I mean, if everybody is saying that there's something wrong with it, then do something. About we can all be incorrect. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that's all I'm saying. And um, for everybody who's throwing, spewing hate about the officiating in the UFL, I get it. You're frustrated, but throw us some suggestions. Throw us something that we can work with, you not know, just your frustration, because it's, it it gets boring after there, a while because we're frustrated. There's as well. also one thing here. What's peculiar with our setting here in the Philippines? You agree with me or not? We don't have the real stadium, wherein, you know, people don't know who the referees are. I mean, of course they know the referee, but what I'm saying is, we are not acquaintances with yeah. these referees now, because of we don't have the stadiums, wherein the officials come from the back door, spectators come from the front door, coaches come and players come from that. You know, meaning, anywhere we go, we see all these referees. I might just I don't I just don't have acquaintances with these referees. I'm friends with some of them. Right. If not, I'm I'm very cordial to all of them. But when I'm coaching and they're there, they know what they're getting. <laughs> but that's up to there. Okay. That's the that's I think one factor why there's a lot of complacent, complacency, and we lack professionalism. You got to be able to separate exactly your but relationship. But what can off. you do? We don't have a barrier. Meaning the barrier is I'm talking about the barrier with regards to the gates. Stadium, uh, 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 you know, it's we're open. Yeah. Eh? yeah, well, when you go when you go abroad, you don't see the referee. You don't see them at all. You man. just see them when they're 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 in, during the match. Yes, and then after the match, well, no, you don't see them again. That's it. They're gone. Huh. But here, before the game, Kakwento and I, I'm not saying it's bad. Right. Okay, because like I said, I'm I'm friends with most of them. <laughs> but you know, before the game, Kakwento one. After the game, Kakwento one. Even halftime, Kakwento one. Palukohan. Pero pagdating sa game, iba na. Di ba? <laughs> of course, the referee, kawawa rin. Because they get a lot of shit from everybody, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, just last week. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I won't say who, but judge my friend. <laughs> okay. Well, what the thing is that there is a certain peculiarity with our setting here in Philippine football. Right. Okay? Get that. Uh, that has to be addressed. Nobody has ever seen it that way. It's got to be a bit of a separation. Yeah. There should be. Officials because and players professionalism and players. is thrown out the window when you're talking to a friend. Sabagay, sabagay, especially if that friend employs you. Exactly. And then time. Another, yeah. another, set, another setting that's wrong here. It's wrong, but I understand how these people here in the Philippines, it's more fun, like they say. Mm. They got to earn a living. Mm. So a lot of the referees are coaching also and training with different clubs, different schools. We're in UFL stars, players, work together with. Worst, 
is these referees who are working as trainers and coaches are working for our UFL players. Mm. So that's another thing. That's why a lot of people are saying, why this guy hardly gets any cards? People start saying, eh, paano? Eh, yung referee, tatar- sino ba nagbibigay ng sweldo dito sa referee? Hindi huh. ba nagtatrabaho dito para sa, ano, para sa, ito gito, sa tao? Huh. The referee is working for that player. All right, look at this. Right on time. Coming in is a uh, very good-looking man. Uh, young man from uh, from Clear is here. He's going to come in the show in just a little bit. Uh, Mr. Uh, Drew. That's too much. We're going to should we have him sit down already or should we throw him a little later on? Okay. Um, Vanny Tolentino, there's a question here. Hans. I don't, I don't know this game. The National League is being thought of and pinaplancha by the PFF Wisdom Filled Committee. Filled Committee? Okay. A lot would want more insight. Teammate, bak 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 bakin muna. What is that even? Okay. If, um, so they're talking about like a summer league? Is this a yeah. summer league? Um, so like um, basketball will have like a fill oil cup. Mm. Where NCA and, and UAP teams come together and play, is I don't know the, the, the summer league. Ah, uh, yeah. So the, they're asking uh, about this one or this one. The the national league is different from the summer league. What's Vani okay. asking? The one about the Philippine the... national league. I think it's the the one they're planning on 2016. Yes, that's the 2016 one. But there's the the no, the, that's not a summer league. That's a whole year. That's round. a whole year yeah. round. Yeah. The, the thing there is the reason why it's it's taking it's gonna take a bit of time. To get that ironed out is because there's a lot of hoops that you have to jump into mm. if you want to qualify for the national league you have to have like your own stadium you got to be uh you have to have youth uh teams in many different mm. ac- categories clubs is a real club system. a real club system yeah. uh, a bona fide club but uh, but if we don't do that you know when will we ever do that absolutely that's why no, oh, i agree and to put everybody especially those in the provinces relax it's gonna happen it cannot not happen because this is FIFA. Mm. It's, it's a requirement. requirement. It's a requirement from FIFA. And FIFA is giving us some dough to, to, to start this off. Uh, I had a talk with a few people and they're really working on it. So like the task force that they, yeah, they right. called. Now they got to follow the, 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 the guidelines The guidelines that was given to us by, by FIFA. Now for me, for me personally, after working so long with Philippine football is, the problem here is getting the right individuals to, to, okay, run, it. to yeah. run it. Not just anyone. I don't give a fuck if you are from, uh, 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 you know, uh, known family or you have club or whatever. What we need here, folks, are people who can really organize and stand by their ball, you know, by their, <laughs> by their balls, on their two feet and not be hanged by the balls. I mean, you know, who has conviction and continue working on it. Okay, and I think this, we have to do this, but they gotta work on it. I, I heard of something, but no one's gonna be left out here. They, yeah. they gotta put, UFL. they have to put Philippine football at the center, all right? If we get this together, it's gonna be huge. Talk about games, week in, week out, where teams from Iloilo is gonna play somebody from Manila, somebody from Manila is gonna play somebody from Cebu, Cebu against Iloilo, every week. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be crazy. I mean, it's gonna be crazy tiring. <laughs> yeah, and, but that opens up the door to clubs becoming, like we said, bona fide clubs with their own stadiums and all of that. Exactly. If they do well in the National League, that moves them up into regional competitions and, you know, AFC Cup, AFC Champions League. We get to start becoming qualified for stuff like this. Our level of competition gets higher, the players get better. Philippine football just keeps going higher and higher. That's, that's but one the thing here, remember, this is gonna be very professional. So people aren't gonna get used to this. People, you will see people, even in the hot weather, I hope people, you guys have lights in your stadiums, please, so we can have <laughs> night games. So some people like uh, Sadelf here, you know, will not look so stupid under the sun wearing a coat and tie. I was, I was about, I'm just saying me. Just, I didn't want to say me, but I just want to put it to Sadelf. All right. So, so um, it's going to be one big happening. Yeah. I pray and hope that this will be very successful. Uh, this is good for Philippine football. UFL is not going to be touched. There will still be UFL. Mm. UFL teams will be involved also. Plus, the, 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 the teams, the clubs from the, the different provinces, they will start putting up. Yeah. I mean, they'll start getting up and 
service has already started. Uh, so Cebu as well, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. going to put up a pretty strong team. Nice, yes. nice. It's, it's all great news for Philippine football, and hopefully exactly. that happens on time in 2016. So that does it for the rundown. Uh, yeah, fun discussion. We've got Sedef Tupas on the show. Uh, we're going to be right back um, with Sedef. We're going to be talking a little bit about uh, all his uh, experiences. Nah, let's get it. In let's get it out. Football. And there are many. Nah, there, are, ask Sedef that he owes us. <laughs> there are plenty of things to talk about. We're going to be My first, uh, my first encounter. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be calling. Encounter pa talaga, no? Yeah, let me get to the commercial <laughs> break, boys. First meeting lang. Uh, okay, first. <laughs> encounter so fucking negative. This is never going to get to the. Fu- Guys, we're going to cut for a At least encounter break. lang. Wala. <laughs> Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like, or all the shows you like. And once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it, you're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. Hi guys, it's me, Tita K. Tita K. Come and hang out on Live Love Laws. Let's talk about makeup, beauty. Hi, Ganda. <laughs> Who's that? We can talk about ugly too. Nah, just kidding. And of course, Donya problems galore. Yeah, yeah. I'm special. Pack it on. Fashion, shopping. Oh my God, shopping! I love shopping. Ah, food. We gotta talk about food. Anything and everything on cyberspace. Let's buy everything. We can talk about glamour and ubusan ng glamour. We fly Wednesday, 6 to 7 p.m. Only on nmfnetwork.tv. Um, two girls, one cup. I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our toppings from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> The show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> and the dick on Nicole's head. Well, we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eichelmann's? I would. <laughs> Cis code. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written Cis code. Uh, truth or dare? Kupal people. Bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> Not really. Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. Tell me, what is football for you? Wow. Football? That's my livelihood. That's my life. That's my life revolves around sport. That's it. I mean, everything is there. It's not football, it's nothing else. All right, welcome back to the commercial break that took forever to take. You know, what's the <laughs> we have aircon here. Kinapawisan all day. Mga umiinom na. Wala na. Yeah, we're free to drink today. Kala nyo, kayo lang sa press marunong. For the first time, finally, we were allowed to drink some beers on the show because I don't have to <laughs> jet off. We don't have to jet off to the UFL after the, after the games, right? We're not in a rush. It's the evening already. Work's done. Yep. Everybody can unwind, uh, which is good because we want Sedelf as loose as possible. Loosey goosey. Get, get him a straw, Konyo. Get him a straw. He'll get looser. <laughs> right? So, Sedelf, like we said, Extremely experienced in the world of Philippine football. Uh, when did you start covering? Uh, 
actor I started out 2002. Wow. Dark Ages, more than the Dark Ages? No, uh, no, it's not the Ascals thing. It's more of the provincial thing. Ah. So I, I started grassroots based. Wow. wow. Uh, the, you were well, still uh, a student, weren't you? Yeah, I was still a student. Go, go for gold. You were such a chubby little cute one. <laughs> U- Uni Games, where I had my first encounter. Um, meeting. Meeting. Uh, meeting. For and, first hand Smith experience. Oh, first hand Smith. And. Grabe siya. 20-0 na yung panalo ng team niya. Oh. Suplado pa rin. <laughs> Meron ako noon. Sabi ko. Meron pa rin. Meron ako noon. <laughs> Hindi pa ba happy itong coach na to? Uh. Gagalit pa rin sa reporter na nagtatanong lang. Para sa Uni Games newsletter lang to coach. Hindi naman to para sa... <laughs> Those are... Wait, totoo ba yun? Bakit nag-umpis ka ng chismis ka? Okay, Ikaw, ka ano ba yung first mo na alala kay si Delph? All I remember was his little... Uh, chubby cute guy uh-huh. who went up to me in the bleachers after my game there was another game I think so I stayed behind for to scout then somebody came up to me I knew he was a kid obviously he was a kid because he still had his USLS ID yeah. on him am I right <laughs> yeah okay so I knew it was a, he was a, so I thought it was he was uh, interviewing for the varsity, varsity newspaper the school yeah. newspaper then after a while Parang, parang ano to, butterfly, yung mga GRO nagpalit-lipat-lipat. So, ang dami niyang nilabasan. <laughs> nice analogy. Nice analogy. Sorry, ha? <laughs> Perfect, yeah. But, lakotsero kasi ako nung estudyante ako eh. So, for lack of words, besides 81% male eh. Maintindihan mo ang audience natin yan. Sorry, girls. Yeah, 81% male? They don't do. They're fine with it. Text me, I'll, tell, I'll explain to you further. Oh. Anyway, that's what I said. No, but after... Hearing about Sedelf after how many years na, sabi ko, sino itong Sedelf na to? So I started looking at pictures, I saw it was him. I said, hey, he stayed on. Mm. Nagpursigi. And for that, no, 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 for that, not just because he's here, okay, I'm not bullshitting you, but but after those many years, now you stayed on and still covered football. Hats off to you, boy. Because some, they would stay with the developmental, uh, uh, developmental <laughs> process. <laughs> You know, they go to basketball. <laughs> that's it. But Don't hate on basketball like that. Don't do that. Hey, fuck, that's the truth. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm not hitting on basketball. It's sport is sports, okay? What I'm saying is, Sedelf, I think, started uh, being young as he is. No? Before. He's not that young anymore. You know, being as young as he was when he started. I think this he started with these other guys, Eco uh, and all the other guys, uh, coming out and covering football, which is good. We need more. Right. We need more. Actually, we need more writers, not just for blogs, but for the dailies. Yeah, mainstream. Mm-hmm. Mainstream, mainstream yeah. talaga. Para, besides, I'm telling you, pero frankly, more people, I think, read the blog than newspapers. No. Yes, it's free. Sadaf says no. No. Sadaf says no. Not boy, yet. Boy, boy pa kami. <laughs> buhay na buhay. Not, not yet. I have said it. Eh. Yeah. I just said it. Eh. You see, people read the blogs more. Because it's free. Yeah. As long as you have Wi-Fi, you can read the blog. Yeah. You have no money, you can buy the paper. I'm, I'm thinking that's a, a demographic thing yeah. as well. You know, um, When you're talking about people who read dailies, um, there's still a large, large market for that. And it's an important market as well to be hitting. Um, these are the people who have the money to, uh, to sponsor, money to uh, make changes and mm. make uh, investments in the, in, the, in the sport. And uh, if, you, if they're not aware of these things because they don't go on Yahoo or they don't go on Introduction or whatever, it's unlikely that they make their way over there unless yeah. they're socially, uh, social media equipped. Yeah. You know? And uh, there's not, not everyone is, yeah. right? So uh, definitely that's a huge market for us. So when I first met Sadelf back in uh, 2009 or 2010 maybe it was, um, UFL was <laughs> UFL was still uh, uh, a baby. Infancy. Was still a baby, you know. Um, that would be a Nomad Sports Club for first division. Well, matches. Well, I told him that since Manila, he said, "You know, I don't remember." He said, "What are you doing? You're not going to be able to do it." So next to Sidelf, we had like an all-star game on our first season, and it was a fun night. Actually, you know, everybody was drinking on the pitch after the game and just having a good time. Um, you know, players, coaches, and everybody involved were sort of just happy that we got something off the ground. 
mm. that uh, it was the beginning of something and uh, it was nice that Sadaf was there to to cover it. Nico alam kung lumabas yung story mo. Lumabas. Ah, lumabas yun. Uh, but yeah, it was it was cool, you know, to have somebody from Philippine Daily Inquirer. So yung nakita namin sa media list namin, we meet. Galing PDI na pupunta, kailangan medyo alaga-alaga natin to. Pero hindi na pakailangan. Uh, hindi ko na alam kung nagawa namin. <laughs> Let me ask you, did you really want to cover, you, you want to really do sports writing? Yeah, of course. Okay. Did you really think in the beginning while you were still studying that you wanted to cover football? Say the, um, of course, uh, first love basketball, di ba? Nandun. <laughs> but you know what, I, 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 I was... I was so exposed to football in Bacolod. Mm, mm, mm. So much football. Week in, week yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Talagang may naglalaro sa Panaad. And you go somewhere else. Meron na namang naglalaro. And, you know, I think uh, it was more of the environment, really, that, uh, you know, biglang, it helped me, yeah. you know, to, you know, the understanding and the knowledge of the game. I, you know, before I came here, I was so, you know, overwhelmed already with information, with, with, no, I, I talked to constantly to Coach Norman Figuero, and and his players uh, naging kaibigan ko na because of all the traveling that I go with them. No? So by the time I got here, medyo marami na akong experience, equipped na ako. Mm-hmm. This guy, dude, like because we we call games together. So Sidel mm-hmm. will be an analyst. I'll do like play-by-play calls, and um, Sidel will reference a player or a substitution. And this guy comes in, and um, it was difficult for me at the beginning to distinguish especially yeah. like um, army players because there's so many um, uh, relatives the <laughs> same last names right mm-hmm. so it, mm-hmm. I don't know who these people are so Duff will pick him out and be like oh that guy was part of the national team and this he comes from this um, province and, and whatnot I'll be like wow how did you know you hey, know what I mean nerd na rin yan ng studyante very sure but you know I, I've had my share of you know, uh, battles Wonder. with with uh, uh, 2005 Sea Games was a was a big moment for me. I think, uh, of course, first time na na cover ko ng big international event and Panaad was packed that time. And I was like, grab yung potential ng football yeah. na sumika talaga you know, right. to be a, a mainstream sport. And then the following year, you know, with little knowledge here sa Manila na sinasabi nila, you know, the Ascals went back and uh, qualified for the AFF Championships. And then, since wala nang budget yung office namin to travel for the final round, I saved money and then went to travel to Bangkok and wow. cover. Oy, ang bossing ni Sir Dove, nagpaparinig. And then, that was my... <laughs> oh, Millicent! No? Retroactive <laughs> daw! I, I, I was... Liquidation. It was, it was, ano, it was on me. Liquidate I really, mo na, liquidate mo na. I, I really numbers. wanted to, to watch the, the team live and cover them as well. When was this? What year is it? 2007. And how sea did Games. Do? January 2007. Games? How did we do? Um, sad to say, parang, there were three games that time. Uh-huh. Um, first game, Malaysia. Uh, Ali Borromeo got injured in the eighth minute. Wow. Mm, yeah. And then we ended up losing 4-0. Next game, Thailand. 4-0, talo din. And then, the last game uh, against Myanmar, we were in Army Stadium in Bangkok. Medyo labas ng Bangkok. And then, Michael Casas, the goalkeeper that time, played the game of his life. Mm. And, grab, he just kept everything out. He was man of the match. Zero, uh, it, in, it ended nil-nil. And actually, we had a big chance to win that game. Mm. Uh, vivid yung memory ko nun eh. Ariel Cerudo was running down the left side, and then... As he does. <laughs> um, wala na, pagod na yung Myanmar. Counter-attack. And then, keeper to beat. Hmm. Chris Greatwich was making a late run to the box. Oh. Uh, Ariel took the shot. Side netting. Ah. So, then I saw Ariel na after the game. Siyempre, di, ano siya? Disheartened. Disheartened, and imiiyak talaga siya. Yeah, but I think that, that was for me. You know, it was, uh, it was a big. You know, parang feeling ko pag sinusulat ko parang hanggang ngayon parang nakinikilabutan pa rin ako. Those days are gone. If uh, if you see it now, the games now UFL, NCAA, UAP, whatever you call it, I think those days of being trying to be a hero is gone. And that one, that's kudos to the coaching. Right. The systems mm. of play now here in the Philippines, you can see as really. Progress, they really developed. Uh, that is also admitted coaches, but this is also because of our foreign players that came over, the field force and the foreigners, because they played 
different type of football. Then, you know, it's just like we just turn the page. You know, we're reading. Then mm -hmm. we turn the page, and we turn the page. It's not what you expect yeah. right. to read. It just so happened something else. Parang ang tagal pa bago matapos yung chapter one. Biglang pag turn mo ng page after page ten, naging chapter two na, which is good. Which is good, but of course there's still a lot of things to do. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, no, definitely. The, the, yeah. The, the development has. No, I'm, I'm talking to the audience. Oh, my bad. They're not answering. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Chris Greatwich though. Huh? 2007, he's part of that team. Yeah. A lot of people talk about sometimes. James the, husband was part of that team. Yeah, sometimes people talk about like you know the Phil foreigners they come in and you know they're ruling mm -hmm. Philippine mm -hmm. football. They didn't even do their time or whatever. These guys have been here. That gives yeah. me an idea, and. We'll get Chris and Simon next week. Yeah. Oh, not next week, the next show. I mean, Chris Greatwich, I, I just got to put this out there. Yeah. Um, guy doesn't get enough credit. Man's a hero. Man's a legend. Scored in the 2010 um, in the most important times, most important games. He showed up and then he gets looked over for a selection uh, like a year or two after that and nobody bats an eyelash. Nobody says anything, right? Like nobody because complains. Not too many. in two, those years past, <laughs> like I said, even the, not just the, the game itself here in the Philippines has developed, but now I think even the, the, the spectators, the fans, yeah. are a little yeah. bit more educated yeah. I think they, they're more intelligent now, the they're fans. They're more intelligent I, now. I think, I think we help. I think we help. Do you think we help them? I don't think so. We talk shit here. <laughs> you got to give us a little bit more credit than that, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, first of all, when Ange told me that people were watching the stage, you I said, what? Really? Do they understand what I'm? Oh no, I'm English, no? Cursing in English. Puro tagal na lang para hindi siya. Okay. Anyway, what? Uh, so Dev, what you said earlier, I time you say that you didn't really play football when you were younger, just basketball. <laughs> Honestly. First of all, we just got to put it out there. Yes. Sidelf is an exceptional yeah, well, basketball player. No, no. He is no. exceptional. No, but for 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 somebody who who loved the sport of basketball. To start learning about the sport and going around with football people, that says a lot about the guy. What does it say? Huh? He is a flirt. <laughs> 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 so okay. So how, how many years have you been professionally? Out the years that you were in, in college. Ten years. Ten years already. A decade. Right after graduation, you you started to yeah. write. Uh, you write it for what the Daily, Daily Star. In, in Daily Star in Bacolod. in Bacolod. I started out Daily Star in Bacolod, and then five oh eight I moved to Inquirer. Oh wait. Okay. Oh, uh, so yeah. it's been about you're going in five, six five years. years. Oh wow. Uh, if for example, let's say if you were Jack, binibida kita dito Jack. If you were not based here and you were based abroad, would you still be writing about Philippine football, like our big friend? Oh no, sorry, you slimmed down already, Jack. Jack Biantan uh, from Cebu, who still writes for the Sun Star. From <laughs> right England. now, right now, if you uproot me, for example, no, right for example. now, I, I I don't think. Uh, no, Jack left. Wala pa ha. Hindi pa ganito no, yung. No, but he was raised natin. in a footballing environment as well. I think. Yeah, say, until I, he I started think... eating the balls. That's why he became that big. <laughs> Jack, thank you sa jersey mo noong 2008. Ah. Yung pinigay mo sa akin. Nandun pa rin sa bahay. Jack, I don't England, even know. England jersey yun. <laughs> si Jack, Jack, ano yan eh? Don't associate me with this. I don't even know. Si Jack, that's sports. Ano yan eh? Nag-coach pa yan eh. Oo nga eh. But, uh, you know, I, 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 I still... What, if ever, kunwari, you were based like that? Ito-tweet ko na lang. Yung mga <laughs> thoughts ko. On, on yeah, you're not gonna write, for example? Like, Jack still writes for the Sun Star? Of course, Would no you? problem. Mm. No problem. Ako, you know, Sbagay. it's just that in yun sa akin yung setup ko kasi i'm a reporter hmm. so i can't really i'm not the one i'm not the type who can express opinions okay. or na mahaba and, uh, uh, uh. so hindi hindi pwede sa amin yun kasi chef reporter ka dapat wala kang biases hmm. ito ito tatawin ko you can mention names so you don't have to mention names on a roll si because so these wala. people just more so big tuloyan pero hindi na hindi pa nagagamit yung mga kasi tayo. alam ko I don't know if Jing knows, but ako, ha? alam ko, marami kang alam with the goings on within that Ascals team, or even with some of the UFL teams between ako? players ako? and actors. actors Ito na yun eh. Ito na yun eh. Ito na yun eh. Inom ko muna konti. Sabi siya, bigyan mo ng straw eh. <laughs> and what was the wildest, what was the wildest thing? You don't have to mention names. Like a scandal. We know already which is the wildest. 
Don't look at me like that. I don't care about it. Even if you cry in front of me, I don't fucking care. You're gonna talk. <laughs> But I mean, I want to witness na, ano, na... Stupid stuff that some of these guys did. I mean, we long, already know. Long, ano, long before, women, drinks... No, women drinks, that's, that's normal. Man. Mahirap, that mahirap. happens everywhere. Mahirap na magsalita kasi kasama What's interesting is, men. <laughs> <laughs> wala. Wala? Wala, 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 wala. You're safe, boys. You're all fucking the, the, male. Oh. oh. I, I, Uy, <laughs> hinihintay ka. Yeah. Napaforbidden questions to. Ano, <laughs> uh, ano? Ayos lang. Ayos lang. <laughs> I'm sure people... May diaya pa. May Maldives pa. So may... may uh, I'm sure a lot of people start tweeting already. Coach, you should have gotten himself to answer a few questions. <laughs> we'll get it out. Pero ano yan? Uh, given naman yun eh. After, after ng games... Nagluluse na pa mga No, that's players. obvious. I mean, for people who don't really know, don't think even in any sport, not just football, okay? Basketball, volleyball, whatever, man. Athletes will be athletes. They need to release whatever. So these things about drinking, women, men, well, you know, that happens. So. No, walang walang men. Hindi, wala ko siya sabi. Siya sabi ko lang sa in generic. I'm not okay, saying the askals. Okay. Oh, you're talking about the women's as well. Yeah, but everything, you know. Uh, what I want to know, guy, is is there was there anything else besides the 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 thing that happened in the dugout here in Rizal, and the thing that happened here also take home and all that shit. Anything besides that? Besides the thing that came out in the papers? Anything? I I, I think funny, funny, uh, funny and 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 serious at the same time. Na you know serious in the sense na kailangan may someone had to step in and. And it was kept under wraps, so, mm-hmm. you know, so siguro mga yung mga nakakatawa lang, no? yung mga, you know, the, these players, no, when they travel abroad, syempre, they, sometimes may mga, may mga unfortunate incidents, like may na mupunta sa isang lugar, no? gigimik, and then may mawawalan ng ano, and uh, no, no, just because lumabas kayo, eh, pwede, pwede naman kayo hindi lumabas, di ba? Oh, oh. Eh, di, yeah, may nangyayari ba? Nangyayari talaga. You pay for your consequences. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have yeah, the you consequences for your, your think, actions. Uh, I, think, I think meron. Uh, but I wasn't there. I didn't come. Yeah, right. Vietnam meron. Yeah, right. Because I went home ahead. I went home ahead. Uh, yeah. right, what right, happened right. in Vietnam? Oh, what happened in Vietnam? No, I think it's karaoke, watching. karaoke. I ano yung mga racket ng ano uh, eh. Dapat think... kasi manood kasi ng, ng mga, nung bago pumunta, bumiyahe. Yung mga scam sa mga, uh-huh. ano, mga different places in, in the world. No, but you know, like they say, obviously, if the Askals will fall under the saying boys will be boys, then there's something wrong there. You know? Boys will be boys. It happens. Right. I mean, all of us, come on. But, but you know what? I think uh, the team has matured so much. Um, coming from 2010, no, 2009, 2010, 2011, I think, was the most, you know, when they were at their height of their yes, popularity. Yes. Uh, medyo, may nag-step out of bounds. But um, right now, I, I see a lot of maturity in the team, uh, especially now with the new coach as well. Pero, you know, they, they've all grown up. Yeah. Dapat naman. They all grew up. I, I, that's why I, I was really, you know, etong last na biyahe, yung Dubai. I was surprised that you know nobody was really Any, you know in the mood na maging no because they're out to prove something could be also because they have so and, and, and they, they and they have I think they they are very much I know uh, focused on focus, focus. next tournament surprised and disappointed to see them oh na kasama no <laughs> you know what in, in that Dubai trip I was with Coach Dooley until and and Mr Palami until 3 a.m. we were talking about the game until 3 a.m. wow I, and and you fly namin nine yata so you you na banggit mo sa story mo about coach Thomas Dooley being unbelievably prepared parang kumbaga parang mas ano siya there's a lot of lecturers there's a lot of uh, yeah, tell yeah us for, about for, that. first and foremost yeah tell uh, us about that uh, this is in comparison with the previous regime right okay so regime ba talaga no uh, previous regime tatlong taon eh so regime din oh, eh kahit yeah. pa and, and regime Velasco never mind but <laughs> I, I was i was really i was really i was really impressed with with coach thomas with the, all the you know, you know pulls players to the side you know discusses with them kung anong mali sa laro niya kung ayaw maniwala ng player piplayan niya ng video 
Oh, ano yung ginawa, ginagawa mo dyan? No? What were you doing there? So, stop. So, pag, uh, the players have no complaints. You know who Samos Dudu reminds me of? This coach of the Olympics or World Basketball. He's played for all superstars. He's coach of Duke, I think. Or coach, oh, K, coach, coach K. 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 Coach K. Coach K. Same. Thomas Dooley. Thomas, again, I'm put, uh, putting you in the pedestal again. Yeah. Uh, no, I think really, because the way, it's more of a personal approach. Yeah, yeah and, and... Besides his knowledge in the sport, training and coaching. You know what? I think it's the small things that, that get out the best of, uh, of an athlete. Eh? Yeah. Who's an athlete, the one who likes to be treated like an athlete all the time? Do this, do that, do this, do this. You know, but if you have that personal touch, it's just like a family. If you've got kids, and you always tell them, you know, lecturing them about clean up after you eat, pick up your clothes, do this, do that. Do that. Won't you think your kids will start to rebel and just say one time, fuck you, dad, I'm leaving the house, you know? But you, you talk to them, tell them to do their chores, but at the same time, sit them down, they start talking about anything under the sun. But in this case, of course, talking about since Thomas has got the a responsibility, he's got a job to do, and talk about football. That's why I think the players reciprocated. Remember when this episode, one of these episodes, we talked about the respect. Once you have the respect, both parties, okay, uh, staff and players, and of course management, you can't go wrong here. Eh? Yeah. If you go sure. wrong, that means the other team is just stronger, maybe. Yeah. Right. I mean, look at Azerbaijan. Who would have thought, man? Who would have thought? This freaking how tall is he? Six five, six six. Six six, six four yata yung binabantay ni Jeffrey Christian. Six four, six oh, four, six and then the one who just jumped with up Buelo and scored. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's don't imagine that, man. They they just lost to Portugal what two one or two yeah. zero three whatever. But the mere fact that they played the top countries in world yeah. football, and here we are, the tiny little brown boys like the racists love to call, you know. To lose, we just won again, and we had attempts. Yeah. And the second half, we played better than Azerbaijan. And for Bertie Vox, who is a freaking well, class player, world class player, to tell the press that he was really uh, actually, I'm not going to talk. We are talking about the press, no? It's a lot of exclusive. He's betting, he's betting, he's betting, he's betting on the Philippines to win the Challenge Cup. That's that's a very big compliment, man, coming from Bertie Vox. Yeah, I used to watch him when I was what elementary. The, yeah. I watched him when he played. Uh, actually, the, the, the journalists that were si seated beside the Azerbaijan game, they were really, really surprised. Impressed. Uh, impressed? How do you have these kinds of players? I thought you, know, you would lose you know, easily. Have to lose. Yeah. <laughs> and did, did they know that we had how many first timers? They, they didn't know. I, 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 I told them, you know, usually, like, yun yung role kwe, when they ask about the team, uh -huh. ano, I, I would go on for hours. Right. Uh, when, they, when they ask about it, so no, they were actually impressed, and you know, th this team, I think, uh, with more time together, I think they can yeah. do what. Tell us I about. Feel, I feel really good about this team. Tell us there. about the difference. I mean, you were there, immersed in the the previous regime for three years. You've got the new guy come in, right? So obviously, there's a big, there's going to be a, an observation as to how the players reciprocate, yeah. right? What is the biggest difference? Morale, morale. The, the team morale is just so much better from from that of the previous regime, and I think there was th this team uh, for me. It's a combination of both. You need to have a teacher and a coach for this team, because tactically, Tayo as a team, we're not that mature yet. Right. Because we haven't reached that level. Na no, naglalaro tayo regularly and, and we were playing as, as a team really. So when, when, we, when a coach like Tom, Thomas Dooley comes in, very intricate, very you know, detailed, you know, teaches even, even the, the most basic posi positioning and, and, and stuff like that, it, it, it's, a, it's a world of difference. You know, the, the previous regime medyo drop the ball and see what happens. You know, that, it, it was mostly on, on instinct, you know, player instinct and, and understanding of players. But now, there's a plan. Right. You know, this, this is how we want to play. This is where you should be. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's a, the difference. No, the, you know what? I, I mean, I coach, so exactly number one, like what Phil said before Thomas started, 
that he would like to see an uh, attacking game from the back. You know, transition from the back, bring the ball up. Not, not the long ball from yes. the back, huh? That, which happened. Which <laughs> happened. Lang natin. Plus, the fact that it seemed like every freaking player knew where they were supposed to be. Of course, except for, you know, when you attack, of course, there's, some, there's something different when you attack and then when you get crosses. Yeah. You know, uh, besides James, I think Jeffrey Christians is the next best guy who gives good freaking passes. Like last night's game, he gave a cross which wasn't, fi oh, which wasn't finished. Was it finished by Izu was yeah. one, then another player who received those between two defenders. Pass was straight to the chest. Dude, I don't want to talk but, about you know, it. Izu, oh my God. It's so unknown. Incredible. Uh, uh, how do you say? It's so refreshing to see the Aspos yeah. play now. Yeah. The way it's entertaining, actually. That's like the, and the players as well. I, they're so it's confident. Some, yeah, mor morale and, and you know, Jason De Jong. I, I, I've had so I, you know, when you're when you're with the team, na sure, wala yung mga kaibigan siya, and wala yung mga mga girlfriend, wala yung mga pamilya. So it's like one camp. Jason, Jason De Jong, wala girl. Okay. No, no, no. Wala, wala in the in the midst. Wala yung wala yung presence. Yan ako, mo. So. <laughs> You know, you, you would, you would, you, you, I think you, you know more the showbiz, showbiz, showbiz. No, show only yung mga kadugo ko. Um, there, there, there's really a time na you know players would confide. You know, you would ask him, uh, oh, how you, how do you feel about the new coach? How do you, mm. you know? And, and and knowing them for so long, I I, I get really good ca candid answers. And you no, know, Rob Gear, uh, one of my favorite interviews, really, Rob Gear. Always comes up with uh, quality quotes, nuggets, yeah, quotes. Uh, yeah. perfect, Grabe. gems. Kaya tinatago ko yon sa kasama ko mga reporter eh. Ako na si Rob Gear. Dito lang ako. <laughs> Dito lang siya. And then, uh, of course, sila Phil and James. No, wala wala siya masabi. They they were they were impressed. And yun yah, combination of being a teacher and a coach at the same time. So well, perfect fit. And who can are, are, not demand respect? No, it's a different work. thing when a coach demands respect. Or the respect's just given. You understand? There's a big difference there. That alone He's will make it easier for the coach to deliver his objectives of whatever he wants to bring out. My 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 experience as well with the with the previous. Uh, medyo ano tay? Medyo personal tay. Okay lang ba? So skani na I was uh, when I was starting out with with this uh, when 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 Mr. Palami was handling the team. I was in, always in the bus. Mm. I was always in the bus, and then uh, every time we go to the game. Ngayon games, sa labas kana nagusabang. Ay de ano na? Uh, yung service car ni Mister Palami yun ang ginagamit ko ngayon. Social uh, moving up. Either oh. either either Benz yon or Audi and something like that. <laughs> so, lang. You know, but when when Mister. Pero sa totoo ang taxi yun. Next taxi. Hindi mo sabi na yun tanga mo gawa yun. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. So when Coach Wise was there. The, he he didn't want anyone outside the team to be in the to, bus. To be in the bus. Um, no, I, I I understood that. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, uh, and even on even in the dining room. So pag kumakain, you know, kakasama naman kami. Yeah. So but but eto si Coach Thomas really struck me when I was so used to not sitting with coaches and players because yeah. that was. The instruction before, na no, players only, coaches only, uh -huh. you know. But you know, when 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 Coach Thomas arrived, when on our on our first few nights, uh, sa Malaysia and then and then Dubai, so, why are you sit seated so far away? Why don't you why why do you, you don't want to to talk to us? You don't wanna. But <laughs> but you know those details, na parang you no, know, it's the least of his worries, but. You know, before, parang parang mabigat. Yung eh, nararamdaman mo yung bigat na nanjan yung mga reporter. No? You can uh, see Thomas. Remember when he guested you? I saw it the first time we had dinner with him with the UFL reps. Remember? I could see right away that his persona he was very light. You know what I'm saying? Open. You, not really open, but light. You can light. So you get a liking to him right away. There are people like that when you see them right away. You but this guy's an asshole. So, <laughs> you know, things like that. You so know. he's a friendly guy. Is that it? Even though you knowing him, when you see him, it's, that's why he's, 
you know, being a coach, there's there's also characters and personalities that drives a team or a player. Uh, that's just because you're a coach doesn't mean that you have everything. You know, I mean, saying that you're God and everything, whether right or wrong. That's that's how I say. If it's a mistake, it's my mistake. If I'm right, I'm right. Just follow. Thomas is the type that you know what he said during our interview yeah. that when he guessed it here. You see his answers. I was I was, I was driving him to uh, you know just trying to get something out of him. That, get some dirt. No, not some <laughs> dirt. I just want to see if he really got pissed off at yeah. any time. The way I see no, it, driving him to yeah. answer me. But the way I see it, I, it's like he's yeah. um. Why not? He's uh, what, what was the what was the right word for it? He's a very reasonable man, yeah. right? So he's got he's got his decisions, and those decisions come from a lot of thought. So if you ask him, if you ask him to defend his decisions or his thoughts, his opinions to you, he doesn't have a problem doing that, yeah. right? So he'll give it he'll give it to you straight. Yeah. The reason why I say that, or the reason why I do this, is because this and this and this and that, and he's very knowledgeable. So yeah. it's difficult to argue with him. You know what I mean? And, and, you know, for Dan in the PFF management, you know, that, 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 they, they, how do you call this? They did the right thing. Remember I said? Yeah. It's a gamble. It's a gamble. Dan's part, Dan Palami. But it's a gamble paid off so far. Yeah. Oh, but, well done. you know, like I said before, Thomas left. Remember? People, relax. These are friendlies. Uh, how many sessions lang? What do you expect? But, what we expected, what came up was more than what yeah. we expected. And we didn't, anyway. score, we didn't score any goals there, but yeah. we did well. Um, yeah, Coach Thomas Dooley, actually, you guys should check out the video of him uh, trying out Balut. Uh, <laughs> oh, he did, huh? Yeah. He did, huh? In the, game, yeah, in the game last night in, uh, in the UFL, that was our halftime show. Uh, yeah, yeah. It looked like our... Uh, no, I, I, told, I, tasked, I tasked Jerome, remember? <laughs> it's funny. That's your job, Jerome. You better let him try Balut. Oh, he wasn't there, though. Like, he Wait, before we go to our questions, questions for Sedel. Mr. Tupac here. Chupac. Sedel <laughs> Chupac. Pare, pinatayong. Anyway, uh, who is the noisiest? In? The noisiest? The Ascals. Come on, man. Hurry up. Misa. Misa. Okay. Who is the quiet, alone, loner? Reserve. Uh, this, Reserve. This, this, this trip, it was uh, uh, Simone Rota. Simone. That's because was he's it because he's to new converse, or he doesn't new. speak English? He speaks English. He speaks English. He okay. has actually a good, a really nice story to tell. Okay, uh, no, I remember the story. So Simon Roth is a little bit reserved, yeah, huh? Yeah, he's a little bit reserved. Yeah, that's why he's maybe like that. Who's the clown? OJ. No. Misak also. Misa. I think Misa. Misa. Misa again. Grabe. Grabe. Walang tigil yun eh. Sinabi pa ni Misak sa'yo kung sino nag-discover sa kanya dito sa Manila? Ikaw ba? Let me guess. Let me guess. When you're 16. Ask him. Anyway. Noisiest. Clown. Quiet. Ano pa ba? Uh, who's the most good looking? Huh? It's from a fan! Oh, from a fan. Not from me! I'm not gay, yeah. I've got four kids! <laughs> I'm getting married, huh? Maka... Ano isipin nyo, huh? I told you, so that you dress up properly and you walk properly because you look like a... Okay, Grabe anyway. ka, disclaimer galore, huh? No, si... No, marami, marami ko ako uh, sa... Si uh, you, see, from a fan? Mm -hmm. But, but why did you ask me? Yeah, why did you ask me? Why to know your opinion on things? Yeah. Uh, Come on, girl. <laughs> this is a really strange question, by the way. Uh, Ascal, huh? Ascal. Besides Phil and James. Besides Phil and James. Who gets the most shrieks? See, si, I think si, ano, I think Jerry Lucena gets... Jerry? Yeah, really? I think gets a lot of attention. Yeah. Probably because of his uh, Colin Farrell. Yeah, Colin yeah, yeah. Farrell. Dark brows and all that. Yeah. Got okay. it. Anything else you'd like to throw his way? One more question. Can you quick fire? Yeah, let's go to the question. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the 12th man then uh, from our Twitter and Facebook. Whoa, Abba. Um, is it here or should I read Ooh. it from there? From who? Question for Sidelf Tupas. Is it here? All right. All right wait long, huh? okay. For the kids that are watching, watching kids. UFL. <laughs> Dude, I can't read that for Do you. we have like someone? Ah, here. That, for the know. kids that are watching UFL, do we have like someone that can provide more technical info that the kids can understand more and learn f more from it? Like halftime and full game analysis of the match? Ooh, thank you. The best football show in the country. I love thank your you. hashtag, first and foremost. But yeah, do we have uh, more technical info that the kids... I, I think uh, 
we're we're you know especially production with 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 the uh, TV cover uh, cover of of UFL. I think uh, they're trying to balance everything. You know, um, it's really tough. You know, calling games. You you, you know you you, you, you you know that. No, um, um, you, you, yeah. there's actually two sides of the coin. No, you try to be as technical as possible. Yeah, and so as not to look stupid. Mm. And at the same time, you also try to you know say it in a way that. Uh, Layman's. Layman's. Man. Na pwedeng maintindihan ng ng ng, ng common uh, you know football fan or non football fan, but you know, medyo mahirap pa ngayon because it's it's really it's really tough to to get someone you know to get. No, I think you can, Sadaf. I think you can. I don't agree with you. Sorry. Uh, it's easy. Uh, Get go chance. Go chance na. To give the analysis and to I think what this what the 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 fans asking is. It's like how to make the kids understand right away. It's easy. Right. It's easy. How? In any situation, you talk their language and just tell them the rules. Tell them the rules. If it's a technically technical uh, situation, whatever, it's easy. I mean, I don't know how to explain it, but it's easy to do it. You can you can teach the Filipino kid uh, what is happening, you know, without too much of a your partnership. Okay, you have a partnership. You have one does the blow by blow count of the game. Was the, the the analyst? The analyst should be the one. That's why we call it analyst. Uh, sorry, Sadafa, I'm not putting you down. Yeah. I'm not putting anybody down, because that was in my book tonight to ask some, or not to me to ask, to tell you guys what to do more for for the Filipino fan that watches the TV. Uh, number one has to be more lively coverage, plus the technical know-how of the game, analysis of the game, what has happened, what transpired. Uh, it has to be explained. I mean, here, right now, maybe for the next five years, maybe, I don't think more than ten years, we're in like, we can start covering matches wherein you just can say the blow by blow and give your personal views on what transpired, like what they do in England, uh, in, in Europe. But right now, I think the fan is asking is, there's still a lot of kids here who don't know, not even kids, adults, who love the game, who suddenly love the game, but don't understand the game. I think we need to, how do you say, push more or dig more to, to explain what just transpired, for example, if I get the question uh, correctly. Right. I just, um, on my opinion, it's difficult to continually explain during a match like, oh, that's offside because of this and that, or that's this because of this and that. It gets annoying for people who, like, yeah. if you know a little bit of the game, so that's like, the, I guess that's what Sadaf is trying to say, like, there's a balance that you have yeah. to strike, and it's a difficult one to, to get right. But, of course, I mean, just like everybody else is learning about football, we're learning how to do, you know, commentating games. Yeah. And, and that was one of the... Uh, without, without, prior to this, yeah. I, I had no... Yeah. Yeah, no, the fans don't understand. Remember, foot, when football picked up, even coverage also is picking up. I mean, everybody's learning. We're all in the stage wherein they're just progressive like tayo. Right. Kasi ang dami rin nagsasabi na bakit ganito yung coverage, si yeah. ganito, si ganito, bakit ganito. Uh, be a little bit more patient. That's why me, kapal na ng mukha ko, okay lang. Dahil sinasabi ko kay Sudha, no, That's fine. I told him. It's just that, you know, watching other games uh, in Europe, you know, that, Yun lang, yeah. you know, that can annoy, that can, that can help you already there. Of course, you gotta be natural in when you do coverage of games. Be natural. Uh, that's why I told you your partner last night. I texted. <laughs> Look, can you critique me? How long ago? How long? Oh, you know the only ones, man. I, I, hey, but we appreciate know. that, huh? We appreciate you guys letting us know how we're doing because obviously, um, yeah. we don't get feedback. You know what I mean? Uh, right away. Um, let's do um, another question here. <laughs> this one's from uh, Craig, Craig Burrows. His question is: Why Man United? And he said, joke lang. <laughs> Masakit din sa akin to, Craig. Uh, Dalawang two birds with one stone ka. Well, Why well, man you what? I don't want to say that. I don't get it. Wait, get, you're well, a man you're fan? Yeah, I'm a man you ah, okay. Huge man. I'm so proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Phoenix is asking the same question right now. Yeah. Why Manchester United? He, I will ask him, why Liverpool? <laughs> why Liverpool? Why Liverpool? Why Liverpool? No, 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 no. no. It, joke lang yan. But, uh, you know, history and, you know, you know, the that feeling that uh, you know, hindi nag-give up yung team, you know. It was very, at, at that time na, 
I was very, I was really immersed into football. I was really watching games na Manchester United was, but you know, my first favorite team, Ajax of Amsterdam. Good job. Ah. That's also my favorite team. The team of uh, Frank Rijkaard, Yari Litmanen, Marco van Basten, of Fini Di George, Mark Overmars, De Boer brothers, Edwin van de Sar. Yeah. Wow. So not uh, yeah, my first just love. Just the superstar Van Basten. I just said. Was he no. part of that team? No, he's in Milan. Nasa nung time nai. Hindi pa package dili yung tatlo. Nag package dili yung tatlo. Nag Barca sila sa bay. Rijkaard. Van Basten or Barca, I don't know. Barca transferred one. You know, you know the history of these three. They were elementary at the same time. Uh, kids, they're together. Oh, we gotta Bacada, research this. So small. We gotta research this. All right, um, let's move on to the next one. Sunny, uh, no, no. So we, or, is it Sunny? That's next. Sunny Candazo, uh, cheese miss question. Ha ha ha. basketball mafia na humahad lang sa growth ng Philippine football. Not yet. Sedel. <laughs> ano ano mong klasing mafia? Sedel Sedel Aminin. Yung sinisara niyo football, ano pa? Hindi, ano klasing mafia? You know, yung mafia always is uh, related to gambling, diba? Yes. No, 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 okay. I, I, I don't think that uh, there is. But, uh, no, no, no. I think what, what, what more that's being talked Polit- about here, polit- is there a group of individuals who come together and try to keep Philippine football down? Uh, you, I think uh, it's uh, every, it's all for us to see what's happening now for Philippine football. Not yet, not yet. But I've always said, and I do believe, which I've told the FA, EFL, EFCA, watch out, be careful, because the bigger we get, and if we get bigger, which I want it to become bigger and bigger and bigger, it'll come in. Somebody's gonna try to sabotage. It'll come in. Gambling but, but, will come in. Oh, gambling will come. Okay, yeah. Yeah, gambling, of course. But I, I'm, t- I'm talking about an individuals who are trying to stop the growth of um, football. I think there are uh, individual differences. Individual differences. That are trying to stop. Yeah, that. because last season, I already said it. Last season, we were getting good coverages in the games. Uh, I think we're almost at par with the PBA games. Of course, I'm sorry, but it's the PBA. What else can it be? Okay. It's the only professional uh, basketball league here. So, I mean, real professional, I mean, big, big dough, we're talking about big bucks. So, there will be, uh, it just needs somebody to start something, then start the ball rolling. So, we just have to be a little bit more hmm. aware. Conspiracy. All right, um, Mark, are we, are we doing Mark? Barkin? Um, I'm not sure, eh. Mark? Si Sadelf? Who molded your great football skills? <laughs> Who molded them? Uh, get this. I have, I have I've scored some goals. Yeah, well, <laughs> okay. Uh, just put that out there. Yeah, just before to... Before anything else. No, tournament yun ng, ano, ng mga fans. Ng, <laughs> so, <laughs> kaya pala, mga pa. <laughs> Tinira mo. No, I, 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 seven I, aside, five aside. No, seven aside. That's seven a aside. turf. Oh, no. kumusta? No. Um, marami. Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney. Uh, 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 Ayan Araneta. Araneta. <laughs> and Nate Berkey for letting me borrow. So, this. ano ha? Striker. Wala tang binanggit na pare. Hindi galing sa probinsya niya. Nakaka-uwi ka pa ba? Okay lang yun. Striker nagdating ha. Aside from the ones called up recently, which local players deserve to be on the roster of the Ascals? Personally. Personally, um... Medyo biased ako sa iba, but uh, uh, Tating Pasilan was uh, is a good friend of mine and I think nalipasan na siya ng ano eh, ng gutom. Na, nalipasan na siya. <laughs> Larry Nicole, uh, coach mo, coach, di ba? Huh? You took him in. Yep. And uh, uh, I think he, he deserved uh, a few years ago, perhaps. He was there. He was there, but... But he got turned off. Yeah. So, May mga maraming kwento si Tati, maraming hinanakit sa buhay. So, it was uh, a time when uh, uh, it wasn't really that stable. Uh, so, and, Tating Pasilan is your yeah, answer? Uh, tating Pasilan for me. Um, if you had the power, what would you change about the current state of Philippine football? The national team, the UFL, etc. This is from Ida Torres. Thank you. Si Ida. Puro kilala ko yan ang nagtatanong. Ano ba? Siyempre! Okay. Pag mamasa nila yung show na to. Supportive naman itong mga kaibigan ko. You know, but uh, for me, I just I just want everyone, you know, to be on the same page. Ayoko lang na masyadong 
no, may ini-insist yung isa and you no, know, sometimes you get caught like like for example, yung no, you you you're in the middle of everything. I am in the middle of everything. So I I I see the differences, you know. Uh, feeling ng isa ina-undermine siya. Feeling ng isa ina-antagonize siya. So, you know, uh, typical it, it's it's there, there are still uh, crab cracks. There are still crab mentality. Uh, but the uh, Coach, no, there, there are still cracks in, in, in the. Hindi naman perfect ang lahat, but you know, for for every for everything to really you know move up to the next level, I think everyone has to be on the same page. You remember what I said? It's all personalities. It has nothing with the program or system. It's all personalities. The Filipinos love that. That's why I keep saying, man, you gotta. Yeah, put, we we thrive on on chaos. Huh? That's why I was saying, man, you gotta put it. You know, you gotta put Philippine football at the front. You know, mm -hmm. that's it. Everybody's gotta be on that. At least at that point, everybody has to be on the same page. Mm -hmm. um, let's move on. Yeah. Um, uh, Jason, should we do Jason's question? Um, oh, we did the untold stories already, but let's do um, among the Ascals reserves. Who do you think deserves a spot in the starting eleven? Oh, that's a tough one, huh? That's a tough one. Starting 11. Um, right now, uh, for the Dubai friendlies, um, I think I, I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't really okay ako eh, sa choices eh. Sometimes, you know, there, in the previous regime, there were times na, Oh, I know this. Yes. Sayang, sana si, ano na lang si, right, right, right. sana hindi na si, Ganitong player kasi hindi niya naman totoong position uh, niyan. Uh, uh, 'Di ba? But sabi niya experienced eh, pero hindi niya totoong position niyan. Uh, you think this is going to be a swan song for Chifi since he was injured and couldn't play? I Thomas and I don't think Thomas have seen this. Did he have the chance to watch No, Chifi? I don't think so. Never, no. It, it's going to be tough for Chifi. I think uh you know coming back. You know, you know what coach? This is what I noticed about the the current setup right now. You know, one missed trip one missed camp and you're so far behind yeah you're so far behind and that's why you know the guys who are looking to make that trip to the maldives you know magpabook na lang kayo ng personal niyo kung hindi kayo makasama <laughs> but, but you know the guys who didn't make this fa uh, past uh, few few trips you know this particularly this dubai trip they they're going to struggle because you know Medyo maraming maraming ano eh, maraming na, na na impart na knowledge na si si Coach Thomas Dooley sa sa team. So that's why they have to double catching up, no? double time catching up yeah. with, with with him. Last two questions, um, very quickly. This is from Gabe Tan. Shout out to Singapore, Gabe Tan. And what? <laughs> I will. <laughs> who inspired your latest hairstyle, Rachel or Martinez de Murga? My hairstyle? Oh, okay. Pati ba naman hairstyle ko? Ano pinakailaman dito? <laughs> We're a variety show, Gonyo. <laughs> Patrick Dato. Patrick, Patrick Dato. Oh, Patrick Dato. Siya rin eh. Ganun. Pag nagtituro mo, bahala siya sa buhay niya. Dati pinag... Ay, you his hairstyle? On the record, dati pinagtitripan nila uh, uh, si Delph yung buhok na ganyan. Uh -huh. Kasi nag nagsuot ako ng buhok na ganyan. Oh, so, oh. Tatawa na nila. Uh -huh. Tapos... After a while, this was from Isabel Villa, Florida. Wrap up the 12th man. Uh, thank you for all the questions. What's the most difficult Ascals coverage you've ever done? What is the most memorable? That's wow. really two questions, huh? Wow. Um, for me, 2010 Vietnam. Uh, no, but it's that, right? 20 Vietnam 2 0. <coughs> um, this is my What's experience. What's your most memorable? Most memorable. Yeah, um, yeah. Everyone, uh, lahat ng journalists na, na Vietnamese were all in the media room. So um, they were expecting their team to win. Defending champions, you know, cakewalk, kala nila. Mm -hmm. So and then we scored. So everyone was stunned. And then second goal from, from Phil, uh, and lahat. And I was shouting. Uh, yeah, na. And I was. Parang hindi ko maalala kung ano umiiyak ako o sumisigaw ako, nagmumura ako, hindi ko alam, hindi ko alam. But after that, you know, I went down to the to, to the dugout and really, you, you, I, I saw firsthand how much it meant to them. You know, that was for me, you know, until now, one of the highlights of of, 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 of my life. No? Parang 
you know, you see Phil nasa banyo, nagsusoka because he was yeah. he was up all night. Uh, food, na, poisoning. food poisoning. Food, yeah. oh, food uh, poisoning. Si Hiner uh, umiiyak kasama nila Ayan, nila Bugi, oh. nila Chiefy, oh. and naita mo dito sila sila Neil. Siya pre celeb- celebrating then and and you know every wala eh. walang walang there, there were no 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 fil- fil foreigner and and Filipino oh. ano the, everyone just came Filipino together period. and then when I came out unang unang lumabas si Ali Borromeo and and you know when when I saw him you know I remember I remember the 2007 the day when he was injured dun sa Viet uh, sa, sa Thailand and I saw him you know almost in, in, in tears and then and I saw his face again and it's like I can't believe we just pulled it off, you know. And that night, you know, the, it was I, you know, I, I, I'm sorry, but I underestimated the team. I didn't bring my laptop, kasi akala ko it was going to be an overnight story because late na matatapos eh. So I didn't bring my phone. And when I came back to the hotel, the phone ko mga 30 miss calls yata yung opisina ko, <laughs> si, si congressman, si ano, and daming tumatawag sa akin and then si si, si TJ Manotok of ABS na nagtatanong din about info about the team. So that was uh, so touching and then the next day I had to write the story. When I learned na magfo front page yung Ascals. Believe me, believe it or not, hindi ako nakatulog yung front page na fo- na na story hindi ako nakatulog as in hinintay ko talaga yung digital edition ng ng inquirer bago ako na nakatulog do you have do you have that at no, home I, I have it at home pero grabe and then <laughs> no, and, and dami na that vietnam trip grabe life changing and at the same time you know the the feeling that you're there and you're witnessing history uh, yeah was, the story started everything so yeah. Natural lang reaction ng lahat, ng right. especially in the. I, past, even the I game. remember, I remember uh, no and game and nomads. Di ba may nag, may oh, nag stop kami nun. Nag stop, nag stop ang laro. Nag stop yeah. ang laro. Yeah. Nakwento ko yun. Yeah, the game stop, referee, Everybody lahat. Everybody's like, what's going on? Do we score against Vietnam? We're like, yeah, we scored against Vietnam. Paano stoppage time? Uh, Paano ref? Eh, oh, 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 bala sila. Wala ka sa'yo. Basta ba, kata ako sa'yo. But that, that, was, that was too much to take. And then, yeah. that's it. the next day, when we were going for, you know, we only needed the draw against Myanmar. Yeah. Um, the players, like Yanti, Yanti Barsales, salute all of them. He was... Uh, he was leading the, the singing of ano bayan ko in the bus imagine mo yung yung nakaintindi no na ano like bakit ka ko grabe naman tong mga players na to that's how how much it meant to them no I, I, and that's when you got beaten up right no that was that's another game no, no, sa Myanmar siya na beat up yeah. sa Myanmar all right we're going to cut this short um, that was the final question for Sidel we're going to be cutting for a short yes. break and we're going to be right back with a clear brand manager Drew Kapuyok. So it's going to be uh, a, a bit of a chat about uh, our little excursion in the Visayas. And uh, yeah, we'll be fun. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I'm not going to be able to Are we letting Sadaf go already? Not yet. Just, you just stay here. So we're not going to say goodbye just yet. We're cutting for a short break. Be right back. Hi guys, it's me, Tita K. Tita K. Come and hang out on Live Love Laws. Let's talk about makeup, beauty. Hi, Ganda. Who's that? We can talk about ugly too. Nah, no, just kidding. And of course, Donya problems galore. Yeah, yeah. Ang special pake on fashion, shopping. Oh my God, shopping! I love shopping. Ah, food. We gotta talk about food. Anything and everything on cyberspace. Let's buy everything. We can talk about glamour and ubusan ng glamour. We fly Wednesday, 6 to 7 p.m. Only on nmfnetwork.tv. Um, two girls, one cup. I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our topics from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> <laughs> the show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I 
and the dick of Nicole's head. Um, we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eigenmix? I would. <laughs> Cisco. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written sis code. Uh, truth or dare, kupal people, bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like or all the shows you like. And once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it, you're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. Tell me, what is football for you? Wow, football, that's my life, you know. That's my life. That's, my life revolves around sport. That's it, I mean, everything is there. It's not football, it's nothing else. Welcome back from that short commercial break. Uh, Coach Hans and myself just came back uh, a few days ago. Uh, Monday, we came back uh, from a five-day trip over in the Visayas region. We went to Cebu and we went to Iloilo. Uh, it was for the first ever clear um, tryouts for um, <clears throat> the first ever clear Manchester United football camp, which is going to happen in April 25 to 27. Uh, United Football League coaches came out. Um, they helped put on the tryouts. Um, 100 kids from Cebu came out, and uh, we had to win. Who's that? I took that photo. I took that photo. Uh, there was, uh, we had to pick eight per region, yeah. which is not an easy thing to do. Out of 100. Right. It's not an easy task, right? So uh, obviously there's a lot of a lot of um, uh, talented kids and you know you can only pick eight so it's difficult we had to go through two training sessions three to seven to ten in the morning rigorous technical side of things testing their agility speed mm. heading abilities uh, passing uh, the shooting and then you take a bit of a break you whittle it down to half and then you move on to the next um, phase where we do um, tactical training um, training them in different formations and seeing how they take instruction how do they take uh, playing different positions on the pitch and then eventually you get to whittle that will it down to eight uh, on that trip with us of course was a uh, clear yeah. brand manager drew kapuyo he was there the entire time and uh drew uh here is has been a, a large proponent in trying to create a lot of attention for for philippine football um and um you know the, the clear dream match I'm, I'm sure you've heard all about it uh, the man in charge of that is, uh, it, <laughs> is, is Drew Kapuyok, right? Uh, so it's, it's, it's great to have you on the show. I'll get you a ticket for sure, yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, it's great to have you on the show. And um, we sort of just want to f get a feel of, um, you know, there's all, obviously basketball is a huge, huge game in, in the Philippines. And um, mm -hmm. why football? You know, why do you want to make football into something that's uh, such uh, so generally accepted in our culture? Why did you take the chance? Yeah. On football, I guess it started out with uh, started out as like a vision from our team that mm -hmm. we really saw this golden opportunity for the country to really get better at the sport. Uh, we saw that there's a lot of potential in the current players that we have now, and we, f we found it our purpose to really how do we make it more sustainable? Right. Like we have a good a set of players now, really excellent, world class, and uh, we're thinking where could the brand enter? And that's when we realized that I think 
it's, it would be a great social advocacy for CLEAR to really grow and propagate football in the country, to train and inspire the next generation. And that's what we've been trying to do, trying to make the sport more popular. Uh, that's why we've had the CLEAR Dream Match. Right. It's a big all-star game, and it's really to get more people to know the sport of football, to start kicking it, start, to start trying it out, trying to know more about it. We're trying to make the sport more popular, right. trying to reach more people who may haven't tried football before, and then try to popularize it and permeate pop culture, and then hopefully get more kids to try it. And this is a cool out. thing, you know, because when I, when I talk to people about, oh, so where do you work? You know, oh, United Football League, oh, what is that? And then I'll be like, oh, you know, it's the football league. It's like, you know, the PBA's got, you know, professional mm -hmm. basketball and then the UFL is professional football. And they still don't get it, you know? And then when they say, you know, oh, you know, like the young husbands. Oh, like the Phil and James thing. So that's, that's, that's where it is, you know? Like um, when you can make that connection, mm -hmm. and it wouldn't have been there if, yeah. if you know, that the clear dream match There's a term happened. for that. There's recall, term. Yeah, recall. My recall, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And of course you have the UFL players who come out and represent. And I gotta, I gotta thank Drew for this time around bringing Manchester United over to the Philippines, right? 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 <laughs> and Paul Scholes, uh, man. He's just going to be one guy that's really freaking happy. Oh, He's going to be gay that oh night. Oh my God, dude. Every side is going to be so gay. Exploding. Scholes, my it's friend. Exploding. During the dream match, it's going to be so gay. Paul Scholes, man. Um, I'll try to get you to the team bus. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, it's great that you know, now kids are, will be exposed not only to the best of the Philippines, but like the potential of what else is out there. Because Paul Scholes, he just retired last year. Yeah. He's still incredibly good. He can play at the highest level. So now we get to see everything, right? Um, how excited are you for the Clear Dream match? And tell us like the details of when it's going to happen and all of that. Yeah. So we've had the Clear Dream match for the past two years now. Right. So it started off as a simple all-star game between Phil and James Young Husband. Mm -hmm. And last year, uh, we wanted to make it even bigger and better. So that's, why, that's when we took in uh, Fabio Cannavaro, he's a World Cup champion, and yeah. Dennis Weiss, who's Chelsea Football Club legend. Who had that idea, by the way, to bring those two uh, it's, it's my team. Yeah. It's our team. We just wanted, how do we make this match well more exciting? Yeah, and well done. We, we, we challenged ourselves, how do we make this a really a dream match? Yeah. Not just for ourselves, but not just for the players, but for all football fans out there. Yeah. And then again, this year, we had... We started looking for partnerships with the biggest football clubs in the world, and we ended up with Manchester United, one of the biggest clubs there out, out there. Uh, and we really pushed hard to get uh, Paul Scholes and Andy Cole. Good, good choice, huh? Good choice. <laughs> so you guys were who chose. You guys yeah, were yeah. who chose. Uh, they had the list of club ambassadors, club players oh, okay. that they could bring for us, and of course, top priority was those two. And right. after a lot of uh, negotiations, we were able to pull them here and you're able to get confirmation. But what we're really more excited this year is really the tryouts right. and the football camp. This time around, we're gonna fulfill the dreams of kids out there, of 17 and above. They can get to play with not just with Phil and James and the UFL All-Stars, but also with Paul Scholes and Andy Cole. Oof. Who can say yeah. that? Yeah. Uh, exactly. like, I got to play with Paul Scholes and, or Andy Cole yeah. on the field. And these guys are not, they haven't been retired for 10 years or over, they've just retired. Yeah. Or are they? Well, Andy Cole a little bit longer, but yeah. Paul Scholes just yeah. last year, yeah. so. Yeah, I mean, exciting, exciting time. time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we're gonna have the tryouts. So we just finished uh, Cebu and Iloilo. Ilo. Yeah. We're gonna have the Davao tryouts this Saturday, and then later on, April 10 will be for the Manila tryouts. Uh, awesome. We're we're getting a lot of uh, interested applicants who want to play with these legends, nice. uh, and then we'll bring the top eight from each of the tryout legs. So eight from Cebu, Davao, Iloilo, Ilo, Metro Manila. We'll bring them to a clear Manchester United football camp, uh, which will bring in two Manchester United soccer school coaches. Awesome. And then along with the UFL, we'll trim it down to the top six. Ooh. And the top six will get to live the dream and play in the clear dream match, the biggest, one of the most epic football games in the country. And they'll get to play with uh, our idols, yeah. Moscow and Aniko. Awesome stuff. Drew Kapuyok said it. Uh, it's going to happen in June, right? Yeah, June yeah. 7th. June 7th is when the Saturday clear dream match happens uh yeah we've already gotten the, the top 16 from uh, cebu and uh, iloilos uh look out for the next ones in davao in manila um it's a very exciting time you know uh so many things happening in, in philippine football challenge cup world cup coming around you know and then we've got the clear dream match coming around as well so yeah it's a great time to be a philippine football yeah. fan unfortunately we have been talking a little too much we are over time 
as our, our beautiful producer, Ange Perez, is telling us, so it's time for us to get on That's out right. of here. It's about time we make our show two hours. <laughs> he keeps mm. pushing for it. He keeps pushing for it. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you to the thousands of fans who tune in to this program, download, uh, who downloaded on iTunes, who subscribed to it. Uh, we love doing this program and getting a chance to talk to people like Sidelf and Drew, who helped Philippine football become uh, even bigger than what it already is. It's an amazing experience for us, and we really do appreciate it. Um, everybody from the United States, uh, UAE, Singapore, China, man, it's awesome that we, you guys are out there supporting the program. We really do appreciate it. Um, I, uh, I want to say thank you to New Media Factory and Beyond the Box Studios. You can now get the iPad Mini and the iPad Mini with Retina Display and iPad Air on installment basis at Beyond the Box. That is uh, really great news. Uh, just check out Beyond the Box on Twitter. That's at Beyond the Box PH or go to the Beyond the Box um, store at One Rockwell. Uh, so there you go. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, hands on NMF, follow us on Facebook or like us on Facebook. That is hands on. Make sure that you put a hands and then the dash and then the on for Facebook. Because if you don't, then you're going to the Hansen page. And you don't want to do that. That's that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want to do that. And so hands dash on. All right. Thank you so much for your support. Coach Hans and myself are very grateful. Peace. And we'll see you guys next week. No, 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 no. no, no. On a break. All right. Won't be around, man. Sorry. I'm writing to Mindanao. <laughs> See you next time. Priorities, huh? See you guys. Peace. The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised.